Hey guys, just thought it would be cool to take a second to uh, show you my rotary spark gap while it's out of the Tesla coil right now. I took it out to do uh, some adjustments from time to time. They uh, they need it. The base of it's just this cheap cutting board, some various hardware. To use a drill press to get these electrodes through. They are uh, tungsten welding electrodes. I had to take it off the coil because uh, <clears throat> the power supply for it is uh, two microwave oven transformers in series for a total of 4 kV. And that's a very small gap for them to have to jump. And uh, after a few minutes of runtime, the electrodes tend to uh, burn off, burn away, burn off. Basically, just powering it with my uh, variac here, right through a bridge rectifier. Focus. There you go. And the motor. It's actually just this DC motor from an RC car. Um, it's got no markings on it as far as RPMs go, so I'm really not sure, but uh, I can almost guarantee that it could go up to about 10,000 RPMs. All these jumpers here. We'll see how those hold up. I had some pretty thin metal strapping on it before, but uh, I wanted to kind of get away from that to a bit more of a sturdier design. So hopefully very soon I will have a, a video update of the uh, Tesla coil running. Just turn it on a little bit so you can see it rotate. Definitely took uh, quite a bit of patience and some time to get it all dialed in how it is now, but uh, I think it's well worth it because it seems to be a pretty sturdy design overall. I've tried various other methods of spark gaps, but this one seemed to uh, be the most feasible for the tools that I have. Alright guys, thanks for uh, taking the time to check it out. Take care and stay safe.